It's me, Ariana. I know it was you earlier. I know it was you all those other times. I beg you. Stop tormenting us. I beg you, please, stop. I am a married woman now, whether you like it or not, so get over it. And as for Richard, despite not having a choice, I stayed by his side when he endured all that shit that you put him through. Let us deal with our pain. Forget about us. Forget about me. Have some respect for us, a godforsaken couple who will never see their little girl ever again. I wish you could understand. <sighs> Leave us be. Ariana? Richard? No, it can't be. It can't be them. It must be a coincidence, Jen. Dad! Is this what you were looking for? <gasps> Mr. Ashman, please, lower that gun. I don't want to hurt you. It's not my intention. Why won't you let me go, then? I have no choice, Celeste. I am not Celeste! Quit the act! You're the only one who can stop it! Please, Mr. Ashman, I beg of you, let me go. You're exactly the same as your slutty mother! That disgusting bitch! Phenoxyl made her lose her mind! She had to get in the way! I loved Ariana! Why did she keep us apart? Mr. Ashman... She had to be shown who was the real man! Did she not learn her lesson when I fucked her?! The fire extinguisher! Maybe I can use it to my advantage! Don't move an inch! the most fascinating creature on the planet. It can communicate with others of its kind, even from great distances. Imagine if we could create a bridge between the human mnemonic apparatus and the communicative system of those beings, with rapid impulses and synapses, a transmission of images without the use of senses. That would be telepathy, miss. But most insects need a leader to guide them. Take bees, for example. They have a queen to guide them. Very good. That's what the hypnosis was for. During the hypnosis, the metronome is only a tool. The ticking is interpreted as a gentle flapping of the wings. But the real queen bee, or should I say Mother Acherontia, was... Whoever was hypnotizing others. Bingo. And he would have had complete control over them. The Phenoxyl was able to fill in substantial memory gaps, formed by the removal of a particular event, such as traumas from one's memory. But why Celeste, then? That damned mother of hers, who was making regular use of Phenoxyl during her pregnancy, managed to pass on to her an extraordinary gift, a special power. Do you not understand, Reed? Celeste was born a Queen Bee. I am disgusted by you and all the girls of your generation. I will rip your head off and throw it in the freezer. I got rid of her. Apparently not. Pay her. This is all yours. Do what you want. Young lady, did your mother tell you that you were born because I fucked her? 
<laughs> tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> there was never enough for that fucking whore. The hypnosis, the drugs, her daddy's money, and the company. No. She stole from me the woman I loved. And if that wasn't enough, she stained my family's name. And what about you? Was it fucking your sister enough for you? Don't you dare talk about Gloria that way! You're a fucking monster! Admit it! They kept her isolated, far away from anyone, just so that she couldn't spill all of your dirty family secrets! You don't know shit! And when it all started to resurface, you decided it was time to shut them up! Maybe by lighting it all up- SHUT UP! <laughs> It's the most idiotic story I've ever heard. Did your dearest father tell you that in reality he was a woman? That he married the woman that I loved just to keep up the act? That at just 10 years of age, his father stuffed him with meds? You weren't adopted! You best convince yourself that Felton is your biological mother! Give up! There's nothing you can do! <laughs> Quickly, or else you might die frozen! Do it. Concentrate. Release what you are holding inside of you. You are a Mother Acherontia. The moths are listening to you. What you have is not an illness. It's a gift. A gift. Use it. You can do it. <laughs> 